Sister Bolton! Yeah. Hey. hey girl! I woke up one morning just like you, <laughs> with poetry in my heart. I am sitting here wanting memories to teach me to see the beauty of the world through my own eyes. I am sitting here wanting memories to teach me to see the beauty of the world through my own eyes. You used to rock me in the cradle of your arms. You said you'd hold me till the pains of life was gone. You said you'd comfort me in times like these and now I need you, now I need you. And you are gone. Mother B's establishment, 285 Moss Lane East, a place where you could come and feel home. It was the aroma of good vibes and pat with lace tongs. Mother B's establishment, where Harabella Fonte, oh, oh island, island in, in the, the sun, sun, will to me by my father's hand. All my days I will sing his praise of the silver waters and shining sands. Look her cornmeal porridge, two hour dumplings, stew peas and rice, salt pork on your lips. Mother B's Irish knots and guineas punch came with a warning, helped her brother to kiss right. She rented rooms by the night. She descends into the cellar, turns on the red light, sets up the bar for the night. Her house was the spot after the arena was shut. People would come from far and wide to sway to the rhythms of the night. Persian, the music man, would play John Holt, Cupid. Cupid, draw back your bow and let your arrow flow straight to my lover's heart for me. And you know love will find a way. White women, with red lips, auburn, brunette, golden cane, with powdered faces. They came like locusts, mummy said, on new crop, she said, devouring men from holy places like St. Anne's, St. Elizabeth, and Mama St. Catherine. They came to school her men, she said, in the ways of slender hip women with small breasts and exotic northern tones hoping and helping them to forget the wives and the children that they left back home. <laughs> she said, she whispered her memories in my ear. She said, she would whisper her memories in me, my ear. She descends into the cellar, turns on the red light, sets up the bar for the night. Her house was the spot after the arena was shut. People would come from far and wide to sway to the rhythm of the night. Persian, the music man, played Jimmy Cliff. Many rivers to cross, but I can't seem to find my way over. Wandering, I'm lost as I travel along the white cliffs of Dover, reminding her of home. Now, my mom used to run the local Shabin in Mosside. And yeah, she was a church woman as well, you know. <laughs> but it was a little way to earn a little extra cash. Now these poems about our mothers. Yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Family. Yeah. And yeah. Family and ting. Yeah, there we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's close. The curtain rises. Strongly frail when giving orders of a cocktail of tablets and later half a bottle of wine. Mm. Everything hurts. Moaning, seeking attention in a manipulative way. Wants what you have, but doesn't use what is taken. Has everything, but it's just not enough. From the armchair of her throne, purposely forgetful after being unkind. Cold. Though sickly and cantankerous, the laugh is beautiful, but not happy. Never happy. Too sick to hold a conversation she doesn't want to have with you. In a room full of people, loneliness. Jesters at her court entertain, juggling their lives, walking over hot coals, dodging the heat of the fire eaters. They always get burned. The times between shows are filled with bandages and antiseptic ointment. The plane touches down, 
The red carpet is rolled out. The curtain rises and the show begins again. It was six flights up into her room, left me panting by the time I had turned the handle. She kept a red trunk just at the bottom of her bed, not one of those silver-coloured ones with the bronze bolted ends that everybody coming from the island seemed to have for their return. Hers was bright red with noleum. It had a strange texture, texture, textured feel, not smooth, a bit like her. So many things packed tightly. I don't know why there was a pressure cooker in there, but I know she was under pressure. The sort that you and I would not even understand, not even conceive a him she, I heard people say, laugh and turn away. In that trunk was a razor to take away the stubble from her chin and shave the hair between her cleavage. There was a flowered bedspread of candle with pink, ten marinas, four boxer shorts bought for grandpa, now faded with age. Don't know when she packed that trunk, but she never travelled back home. I'm trying to decide what I should keep, what I should let go. I come across two records, vinyl, song title, Island in the Sun, Lie Down, Gal, Make Me. Lie down, gal, make me, push it up, push it up, lie down, mm. Lie down, gal, make me, push it up, push it up, lie down. I begin to cry. Seeing photographs of myself amongst her things, I know I was the daughter she couldn't have. Unexpected photographs stolen from my album of my children, with grandchildren written underneath each image. I come across the passport photograph he took when travelling to England. His name at christening. I found the papers with his name changed from Morris to Maureen, even though we called her Big Shirley. Her identity, whom Aphrodite, the doctor said, he delivered me this news of cancer carelessly as if she meant nothing to no one, but she meant something to me. There was everything in that trunk, that red trunk, at the bottom of her bed. It was a tumble of yesterday's promise, and tomorrow was never come. The poets say that all who love are blind. I'm in love and I know what time it is. The good book says Go seek and you will find I have sought in my What a climb it is My love is just like the weather It changes with the hours When he's near I'm fair and warmer When he's gone I'm cloudy with showers In emotion like the ocean It's either sink or swim when a woman loves a man like I love him. Grandmother knew how to love him, part one. David, my brownie, I took much from your man, who gave me 12 children, one dead left 11, and I didn't bow for the loss of the one. I raised all of your sons and nurtured all of your daughters. Kept sacred secrets just in case they encountered hard hearts who couldn't understand to this love, to this love I did yield more than 13 times. Each child I name, each line furrowed deep in my brow, this skin, each one of you reminded me <coughs> of my belly pain. Twelve children, one dead, left eleven. 
to my first, the twins, Alice and Gladys. I surrender pure love of your tiny hands and feet. You are an explosion caused in my heart. You girls made me want Bertram and Mordecai, my older sons, men of stature, is my hope for them. Born in the likeness of their father, they will be like him. Then came Naomi and Edith. You two will be more than me. I will teach you both the art that is home, where love will pour from you. You are devoted daughters and sisters. Oscar, my boy, sweet, thoughtful, good man, Jehovah will be your shield, your portion, and by his name, your neighbors will know you. Anna, a man of few words, you will be kind and foresight. You born on Christmas Day, we call you merry man, a loyal father, a carpenter, a homemaker, unlike many a man. Gladstone, my boy, your papa's son, your mother dead. So I mind you, I love you like you were my own belly pain. You will be wisdom. You will hear the Most High call you prophet. When my last two born, Ella and Victor, I knew, I never knew, I knew, and I never knew, I would have so much love left in me. But this life was not easy. You both overwhelmed my heart. So I promise you, love, will follow you, not rain. Test this love. It will grow in you like morning dew, fresh every day. Each one of you is mine and David's. I surrender these callous hands to the raising of our children. You were made from alabaster, mahogany, and the love that engulfs a mother's heart. So I dream big for our children. I dream big for my children. I hold life in this water jar and pray that the rain don't come and pray that the rain don't come. Gotta get off, gonna get, have to get off from this ride. Gotta get, go, gonna get, need to get hold of my pride. When did I get, where did I, how was I caught in this game? When will I know, where will I think of this name? Part two. It wasn't that me didn't want to leave, to go. It was just that I couldn't take any more. It was not Kingston where my love was. It was right there in St. Catherine, Harkasar. I left him right there in my bed where familiar hands knew my breasts, my belly, and I knew of a place in the small of your back that made you still at my touch. My hand, mouth traced the steel muscles of your thighs where I had tasted the salt on your skin. I had feasted on your tongue of rum and strong herbs. I knew every inch of you and you of me. Yet still, I was not enough. <laughs> I gave myself to you before we were obligated by rings and the preacher and our families. I was yours beneath meridian skies, mm -hmm. bound by the labor of our hands. We worked the field together, laugh and turn food for each other. I had a freshly pulp of sweet guinea, guava to ravenous thirst. Only you? Wanted to mad me, turn me fool with this love thing, make me ball. It seemed you preferred Jane Plum, green and acidic on your tongue. You tried to turn my countenance from joy to a sour faced black woman. You, who gave me 12 children, one dead left 11. I raised all of your sons and nurtured your daughters. I kept sacred secrets, just in case they encountered hard hearts who wouldn't understand to this love. This love I did yield to more than 13 times. 
He don't treat me sweet and gentle the way he should. I've got it bad and that ain't good. <laughs> Your father philosopher. So that was my granddad. Yeah? Mm -hmm. David and Arabella. Now this is my dad. <laughs> He spoke of sorrel wine and fish on Friday, of rice and peas, his mother, our grandmother's sweet potato pudding, his knowledge of cricket and cigar field sofas. He spoke of dancing to John Holt on Saturday night, brandy shots and guineas, holding his woman right, and he, and how he, and how he, and how he remembered home of jukeboxes and reggae and the blessed assurance that came from the churches on every street corner. It's a place with churches on every street corner and listening to Jim Reeves on a Sunday. There was a time life and love treated him hard in this cold place, he said. Try to be who you are. Be true to yourself. It's what was taught him. It was his philosophy. Even if life punched ugly wounds, so he cooked and he played and he danced to his own rhythms. And in those moments, in those moments, his children was conceived. In those moments, I was conceived. There may be trouble ahead, <laughs> while there's moonlight and music and love and romance. Let's face the music and dance. Again. There may be trouble ahead, but while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. She's a sister, but a traitor to the cause, or is she? With legs up to her larynx and a bus size that equals twin peaks, she flutters <laughs> her eyelashes and smiles when she thinks they're looking. Oh, she wants a little look, a little insecure, a little demure. But you and I know her, for we have had a sisterly rap, and she is on a hunt now. Man, <laughs> man, she gone trap. Just like the Black Widow. She tempts her victim with a promise of loving sweetness that knows no bound. She invites you to enter that sticky web. Then she eats meat at her leisure. And only the waste remains. She moves on to the next meal, mm. feasting as she goes. Feasting as she goes. <laughs> <laughs> on those in the path, those who don't know the game she plays, because she is the vixen. Yes, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. We know her in dick. Yes. That shall not, not be tamed. There may be trouble ahead, <laughs> but while there's moonlight and music, and love and romance. Let's face the music and dance. Mr. Whippy. <laughs> Miss Rolls was laid to rest with an ice cream cone in hand. Actually, it was a 99 with hundreds and thousands. As family and friends came to view the body, someone piped up, she left that ice cream to me. Is that so? Ah, forget this. I'm You lied. Miss Rose promised it to me years ago when we first came to England. Now I know that is not true because you is lactose intolerant. <gasps> oh, you liar. You're not supposed to eat chocolate. Aren't you a diabetic? <laughs> Tempers began to rise. The ice cream began to melt. Look, I have known Miss Rose all my life. We was like sisters. <laughs> We was like clone. What she eat? Meteors. We went to the same church. We went to the same school. We was born in the same hospital. When her mother went into labor, and my mother feel the pain. <laughs> By this time, the ice cream had completely melted. The cone itself was a soggy, unrecognizable mess. The two women stood by the coffee, took each other's hands, and said their farewells to Miss Rose. They supported each other as they made their way back to their seats when someone piped up, She left that chocolate flake to me! <laughs> Romford. 
Romford employee, work colleague, yellow man, dotty man, want to turn you out when you're just a grow, when womanhood is just rightening. Yet nobody say nothing. Everybody know. Mm -hmm. Him love you when him see you a blossom. Him say, your titty then grow like bud. Him say, soon you can take a man. <laughs> Spring's new sapling, him want to fail. He will tell you, say, he will cook a little food, you know, rice and peas with freshly grated coconut. One small clove of garlic, mashed to nothing. Two sweet pepper, chopped fine and small. For help, color the water red. A pinch of black pepper for had fire. Bring it to the boil like him going bring you to the boil. Him say, then simmer until it dry out. <laughs> Chopper in hand, him slice deep into the flesh of the spring bird. Say, him no want no boil a chicken. It too old and foul and can't lay hay anymore. Its smell might be sweet, but it's meat tough. Him look for an easy laying bird. One easy to chop and roast. So him prepare the new harvest while adjusting himself in the crutch. Him, I look at you while you try to look away. Him, call you if he come into the kitchen, placing his warm yet damp hands over yours, pressing down on top. He cuts into the flesh, skin, and bone, shatter under the pressure. His thoughts now audible, me can show any man how to quarter this year chicken. We call him the dirty man. Close your eyes, feel the night creeping over. Close your eyes, feel the night creeping over. Soon the dawn will be breaking. Soon the sun will fill the sky. So close your eyes, feel the night creeping over. The aura of him is strong, so I lean on him, and he was my help. I closed my eyes, and within his arms, I felt his power surge through. Close your eyes, feel the night creeping over. I could not, would not hide my need of him. He was my friend now. More than that, there was safety in his arms, peace there too. Close your eyes, feel the night creeping over. No need to hide now, there I could hide now, so I did, did he reject me? No. Like a fresh scent from spring was his love and it was towards me. Soon the dawn will be breaking, soon the sun will fill the skies. Did he want pretense? No, never. He looked to the inner me and finds that he's at the center. There was a time I tried to hide. I could not, would not hide from him. But the awe of him was my strength, so I called him Lord. I surrendered to him. I hide under the shadow of his wings. And he has said, I will mount up like the eagle and fly. So close your eyes. Feel the night creeping over. I am sitting here wanting memories to teach me To see the beauty of the world through my own eyes I am sitting here wanting memories to teach me To see the beauty of the world through my own eyes You used to rock me in the cradle of your arms You 
said you'd hold me till the pain of life was gone. You said you'd comfort me in times like these, and now I need you, now I need you, and you are gone. My mother's journal. I held her aqua green silk brown book in my hand, a precious thing. The scent of my mother's Charlie's perfume on its cover. The date of all our birthdays, all ten of us. Our birth signs, as if to remind her of our characteristics. Doodles and sketches of places I've never seen. A love heart, pressed. A buttercup were amongst her private thoughts. Its pages are where I might know her now. My mother's journal left us strict instructions on my death. Try if you make me look good. <laughs> the cream suit should be the one you put me in. Now. I like the length of the skirt. Put me in my good shoes. I don't want to meet my maker with my naked bare foot. <laughs> Choose the songs for the church wisely. I did like the 23rd Psalm. And I also want you to play Rod Stewart. <laughs> don't you think I'm <laughs> That will shock a few. There will be those who moan loudly, but don't love me. That's okay. I didn't can't chance. Cry if you must, but know it was my end. Smile if you can, because I did love each and every one of you to see him. Remember my voice. It's my mother's and her mother's, and it's now yours. It's how I bear losing my own mother in 1962. I made mistakes. It's the way of this life. And it's all right. Remember, I grow you with faith. It will become important at the hour after my passing. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Be mindful of each other. For although there are those who will try to set you against each other. Don't fight the money. I set aside something for you all. All of you. You are the voice of my mother. The knowing of my father. The sisters and brothers of my lineage, for you are David and Arabella, and those that withstood the storm. P.S. Buy me a good headstone, one befitting your mother. <laughs> you are sitting here wanting memories to teach me to see the beauty of the world through my own eyes. Thank you. Yeah.